cats. Um, family man, you know, got a little son at the house there. But, you know, when I'm not taking care of the kids and I'm out making films, you know, uh, I've been doing it for a while now, directing, producing. Uh, right now I work on the feature film, and this will be, um, you know, my fourth film, actually. Uh, you know, I'm just out here grinding all the time. Yeah, little man running around with the camera yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got <laughs> pictures of him on there, you know, running around with the cameras and stuff. He be having a good old time, you know? Yeah. So how many years have you been directing? I've been directing for about five or six years now. You know, I've been working in the industry for probably about, you know, 15 years, really, you know, video production-wise, uh, even film-wise and things, helping out on sets and things like that. But I just recently, within like five or six years, really started making my own movies and things. Yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, what was your first film production? My first film was called Appearances. Uh, that was kind of dealing with the racism, but it took a, a, an approach as far as uh, black on black racism, you know, the whole dark skin, light skin thing. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, what, year, too. <laughs> what, what year was that? It was like 08, 09, somewhere around there. Oh, okay, there. okay. Yeah. Is there a place where we can watch it? or? Uh, yeah, it's on online. Uh, I got YouTube. Um, I got two pages. I got my page, Stefan J. Davis, and I also have Inspired Pictures on YouTube as well. If people can check those out, check out the last few films I did. Cool. What was your biggest moment for 2014 so far? So far, it's been this movie Collision. You know, uh, I wrote the script, started in 2013, finished it this year, 2014. Like I say, it's a feature film. Uh, it's going to be about an hour and a half, 95 pages. Just been, you know, grinding on the computer, typing away, man. It's been crazy. But I got an uh, awesome team, man, Team Collision. Shout out to all of them out there that's helping out. We got a core crew. And, uh, you know, it, it, the, the film itself is dealing with a, a real serious issue. You know, for me, I like to make films that are inspirational, motivational, you know, uplifting, right. and, and educational, just all those different things, you know, entertaining. And this film here has all of those things. So for me, yeah, 2014, but it's all about this, this film, Collision. Uh, just to give you a little brief synopsis about it, it's dealing with a young lady. She was out with her friends, gets attacked, uh, sexually assaulted. Uh, she's actually a nurse, though, and she works at a hospital. Three years later, the guy that attacked her, he gets to a car accident, ends up in that same hospital as she Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty, pretty <laughs> deep, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a drama slash thriller, wow. man. It's got a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. A nice twist as well. So, so this is going to be like in a, any kind of theater, or is it going to be... Uh, yeah, once it's all said and done, uh, you know, we're going to hit the theaters a little bit. I know a couple already right now I'm reach out to, hoping to get some, you know, throughout the country. Right. theaters as well as doing a lot of video stuff eventually put on netflix and things of that nature cool. how, how, so how do you submit um like movies nowadays because you used to be you had a reel and you just bring in a reel so how do you submit music now i mean i mean video, movies now uh well a lot of times like for festivals for instance they might ask for like even just a dvd copy or uh you know a hard drive type of thing they got this, this new technology too uh it's a, a digital uh that you have to put together on like a little digital uh, disc type thing and send it out to them that way. I think it's so, like the DPI, I believe it is. But, uh, you know, for now, you got Blu-ray, you got the DVDs. Right. Uh, even a tape, sometimes you can submit that as well. So, yeah, you know, it's, for now, it's still like that. Yeah. Luckily, you ain't got to drag a big old reel out to you know, Yeah, right. So yeah. that's a good thing. So do you use any kind of, like, uh, music, random music, or do you use uh, music from artists that you know? Oh, yeah, that's I mean, good point because shout out to anybody out here, you know, listening, if you use musicians, artists, and things like that because, you know, I'm always looking for new music. I've uh, got a few different people that I know personally uh, that are artists that send me music and things to use. Uh, one is here locally, one moved out to California on me, but he still sends me music, though. So, you know, um, always looking for new music for the films, soundtracks, scores, all that good stuff. Cool, cool. What about for the Collision um, project? Collision? Like, what, what kind of music are you looking for? I'm looking for uh, one thing in particular I'm looking for is I'm sure you're familiar with the song John Legend I Am his latest mm -hmm. song there I'm looking for something that's like so similar to that that we almost get sued <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's like so perfect because there's this no, I mean you know I'm joking but you know, there's a scene uh, that takes place with um, the young lady when she meets this new guy and things and right. it's uh, very romantic and uh, that song just speaks. But when I hear it, you know, I just think of that movie. I just see it. You know, I visualize the whole thing playing out when I hear that song. So, if there's anybody that can make a song very similar to that, without us getting in trouble, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be, I'd be grateful. So, so Stefan, when you make your uh, movies, what is it about you as a director that you capture that no one else captures? Uh, 
for me, I think a lot of it comes down to just a lot of meditation that I do and things. Like, I'm really trying to figure out how I can inspire people and how I can make a difference and how I can touch people's lives. Like, to, for me, films are something that should touch your soul, something that should give you, like, a roller coaster type of ride. You know, not only just entertain you, but also make you think and, you know, make you imagine and believe in things and stuff. So it's like the same type of inspiration and the same emotion and passion that I feel when I'm making a film, I want people to be able to get that when they watch it. Okay. Last two questions. Who is who is your favorite director other than yourself? Other than myself? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like a couple of them. Uh, Christopher Nolan comes to mind. Uh, you know, Kubrick. Um, some of the big ones too, like Scorsese. You know, he's really nice too. But um, yeah, you know, I, I like Christopher Nolan just because he's very dynamic in his approach and things. He, he's out of the box, really. You know, the way he puts his films together. I uh, like Memento, for example, was just like phenomenal. So definitely, Spike Lee. Still, I love Spike. You know, right. just for what he does and what he he's not afraid to put stuff out there. You know. uh, what was your favorite music project you ever? Uh, probably was when we teamed up with you guys at Tomahawk, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> the product. The product. Yeah, okay. the product, yeah. Okay. Because, you know, that was like, it was almost like a movie, really. And, you know, that's what I'm all about. So, you know, it's perfect, man. You know, we had the, the, the actors out there snapping pictures and everything. Yeah, it was, you know, it was, it was a, a fun experience. You know, all the way live with it, man. Mm -hmm. Told Great story. job. Yeah. It wasn't your, you know, your regular video, regular rap video where you had the champagne bottle yeah. popping in the club. <laughs> yeah. It was totally opposite. Exactly. But we'll be right back after this break. Don't go nowhere. It's the Nation Radio Show. We still got Rude Boy.